Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. I'm so happy that you wanted to join me today because today we're going to do another what I eat in a day. I am going to try and make my meals kind of recipe for you so that you can make them yourself because I know sometimes I'm just showing you what I'm eating and all of y'all are asking for recipes and I didn't do them and it's really hard to do them afterwards and I'm going to try and be better. This did not work out for me one second. So today, whilst I am preparing and eating my food, I want to explain to you what I'm doing and show you guys all the process of making it because I guess it's really helpful when these videos also become kind of recipe videos. So that's what we will be trying to do. Yeah, these are my breakfast, lunch and dinner, completely vegan and as close to zero waste as I can. No one is perfect and I am a transparent girl. So that is what we are going to do now. Let's get into the video. Good morning, everyone. As the first meal of the day, Jens and I are going to be making some oatmeal. We actually called this version of the oatmeal royal oatmeal because it has so many delicious toppings on it. I took my oats. I haven't found oats in bulk near my house, so I get them in a cardboard box or like a paper bag. And for every cup of oats, it takes two cups of water and a pinch of salt. So I have one and a half cups of oats and three cups of water, a little bit more than three cups of water actually. Jensen Gila making oatmeal! Americans will watch this and see that thing and be incredibly confused. That's a very good point. So for all y'all who are super confused about what the F this is, it makes pancake bowls? Yeah, basically. Basically. We have a traditional Danish dessert that we that we make around Christmas, and it's basically a pancake batter. Your face isn't in it, by the way. It's basically pancake batter, but round, small balls. And uh, we make them in this, or we buy them frozen. Most people buy them frozen now, but as they're not vegan when you buy them frozen, I make them myself. <laughs> Did you just say porridge? I don't know if there's a difference between oatmeal and porridge. I feel like oatmeal is the name and it's a kind of porridge. Yeah, I guess. So for the porridge toppings, we will have these chocolate buttons. And I have here a glass of peanut butter. Then we will have, where is it? We have this vanilla sugar. And then here we have a vegan butter. Um, it does come in packaging though, so that's one of the packaged things. But this was from bulk, this was from bulk, and this came in a glass bottle. Clearly. A girl likes the chocolate. The oatmeal goes from being just boring to being absolutely goddamn delicious. I found some chia seeds and just putting uh, them on for health. Seeds. Yeah. Because, you know, you want uh, st stuff in your teeth the rest of the day. Chia seeds. Just pressing that butter down a little bit. There we are. And lastly, oh, this peanut butter is gorgeous. Oh, it's new. It's new. Girl. Girl! Boom. I mean, it doesn't look pretty, but it's definitely good. It takes about two minutes to do, and it's, it's so delicious. And it's... Uh, for those of you who care about that, it's about 350 calories, um, which 350? We thought there would be so many calories in this, and I don't care about calories at all. I find it a little bit triggering, um, but because you tried to lose weight some time mm. ago, it was really, really helpful for you to use Life Sum. Yeah. And then we plugged everything in, and it turns out it was only 350. Yeah, yeah so we do this sometimes. Sometimes three ro days in a row, like three mornings in a row. <laughs> Until we get tired of it, basically. The dog's still in the bed, I'll go get the dog. There she is! There was the dog! Hello! I drink water throughout the day, obviously. I am also taking my B12 gummy in the morning. I always do it in the morning, because then I can remember to do it. Hello, guys. So, before I go out and make lunch, I want to get a little home workout done. Usually I go running, I have my taekwondo two times a week and I do climbing, but when I don't have time to do any of these things, I just do whatever I can at home. So I practice my handstand. It's going okay, but there's still a long way to go. I do a little bit of weights, I do some push-ups, stuff like that, and uh, I practice my taekwondo routine for the next time I'm going to get a new belt. And then I write in my calendar whenever I've done it so I can see how many times I worked out. So uh, now we are going to go and make some lunch because your girl deserved it. 
So for lunch, I'm actually going to have leftovers, but I am, of course, going to show you what I did. So here we have a soy granulate sauce, like a bolognese sauce, and then with pasta. I made a lot of this last night. I'm going to have it for lunch with a salad. But how I did it was that I usually get, if I'm not at the farmer's market for, um, I mean, actual tomatoes, I'll get like a big glass of tomato sauce. And then I have my bulk spices. This is oregano and this is basil. Um, these tins are actually from like a spice brand as well. But these are so, so good for bulk shopping because they, I mean, they can seal tight. And then I have this uh, bulk soy granulate, which I boil for about 10 to 15 minutes. And then I throw it in the blender to make them a little bit smaller. And then I just add all the different kind of spices that I like. I have some liquid smoke, I have some paprika. Then, of course, my herbs as well. Onion and garlic. And it's so delicious. I mean, you guys. How do I like my pasta? Plenty. I have a few different kinds of bulk pastas. These are from Louis Market in Copenhagen. Like These didn't fit in the jars. Um, but I usually get my pasta in canvas bags and then I transfer them onto my glass. So I have some spinach. I just keep it in my fridge in a glass a bottle, like a, cla a glass jar. And then it actually keeps for over a week in my experience. So I just take a few of these leaves. Then I have a little green pepper. This is going to be like a very symbolic salad, but I just really wanted to have something on the side and not just pasta and the sauce. <laughs> wow. I'm going to use some of these spring onion. I regrew these myself, you guys. Can you believe? Um, so we're going to use some of these as well, otherwise I think this is going to be insane. So let's take two of these away. So we're just going to grab some oil. When you have a stainless steel pan, I've heard that it's very important to let it heat properly and the oil as well before adding whatever you're going to cook, otherwise it's going to stick. So especially when it comes to dishes like pastas and curry, I like to make big batches because then I can just use leftovers and leftovers are so much easier. Just adding a little bit of water as well. And I usually use spinach instead of other kinds of leaf grains or instead of lettuce and stuff because it has more iron, it has generally more vitamins and whatnot, less water. So we will add some nooch on top. This is nutritional yeast and it has a very umami cheesy flavor and uh, it also has B12. And uh, yeah, I like it and now boys and girls we are ready to eat so usually i will actually eat whilst working or in my bed whilst working but because it has tomato sauce and i have white bed sheets on i feel like that's just setting myself up to fail a little bit so the sound here is great so we're just going to have our lunch at the dinner table i forgot my water wait a second there we are. I will just check how my TikTok account is doing because guess what? Your girl is so old and yet so young and I got a TikTok because I do reckon that it's not only children anymore so I'm trying to do like zero waste TikToks. I don't know if it's working. I don't know. I don't have that many followers. So if you're on TikTok, go find me at Gita Mary and just have a good laugh with me. I don't know if I'm funny or just cringy. You tell me. So for tonight's dinner, we're going to make something with curry. And I thought I would prepare a little bit and then press this tofu so it's nice and firm and dry. It comes in a glass bottle. You can actually get this, like a bottle, a jar, okay. And you can get this in a lot of Danish supermarkets, actually. So uh, yeah, we're going to press this um, so it does not retain so much water. So if any of you are confused by what I mean by pressing the tofu, the less water there is in tofu when you use it in your dishes, the better the tofu will be. If you've had like really bad tofu, it's probably because it retained a lot of water. Because look at this. You don't want any of this water in your dish. So you can actually find a tofu press that will do this for you or you cannot go out and buy unnecessary equipment and just do it the MacGyver way. <laughs> this is insane. So I have a plate that's slightly rounded, so it's not a bowl, but it's close. Then I have a tiny container from which the tofu will have its water run down, but it won't be soaking in the water. So it's time to make dinner. We just went out for a little bit of shopping to get the last bits. Like I thought I wanted to use a sweet potato and look how big this is. 
the size of my head. Cool. So now we're going to make a curry dish. I have some leftover rice that I wanted to use and a lot of other stuff as well. So this is going to be a very whole foodsy kind of curry. Very filling and very nice, but we also have some snacks for later. Mm. So here we have the rice, we have some leek, a little bit of cauliflower, onion, onion from yesterday, the sweet potato, and then I have these beans from the farmer's market that has not gone bad, miraculously. And uh, then we just got a couple of fizzy drinks, these are organic and lovely. I don't drink a lot of these, but when I do I like to go for uh, aluminum tins rather than plastic because this is easier to recycle and aluminum can be recycled indefinitely. Cool. So let's see also, let's see if the tofu underneath here has been drained. I think that it has, so this is going to be good, all of it. So while I'm chopping up some bits over here, Jens is stirring the onions and the tofu. Yes. These will be like until they are kind of crispy on the outside and then we'll take them off the heat and when then we will start to boil some vegetables. So here we have the tofu, we are cooking some rice now and then I filled this skillet with water and then sweet potato, leek and cauliflower. And now we're going to put the lid on and wait about 10 to 15 minutes. Also, you can see over here, here we have some lentils, the lentils are also in the skillet. And uh, here we have the rice, both of these are from bulk. What do you know? And here I keep all the uh, food scraps for my compost. So I think we're like halfway there. A lot of the veggies have to boil for a little bit longer, but not very much. I've put in my seasonings, so curry, and also this mango chutney, which gives it a little bit of sweetness and gives it the stickiness. And uh, then I have like this uh, oat milk flour combo which will make the uh, the soup thicken. Yeah, I have some recipes for something like this on my channel and on my blog as well, because I always just use whatever I have in my fridge just to use my leftovers and uh, curry is a really good way to do that. I'm so ready to eat right now though. The plot thickens and so does the curry. You proud of that one? I am. <laughs> Shouldn't be. As a last step, we are mixing in the tofu with the rest of the sauce. And then we're actually done. <laughs> so this is what happens when it's winter in Denmark, otherwise we wouldn't be able to really show you. So I mixed the leftover rice with the new rice, we made the curry, we're having our little uh, organic fishy drink, and uh, here it is. It's not the most pretty dish in the entire world, um, I know, but I mean, it's super, super tasty. Thank you, Jens. So the dog's crazy, that's fun. The dog's insane, so that's good. This is our Saturday night. We are watching Netflix. We bought some sweets at, uh, like most Danish grocery stores have small bulk checks in for sweets. And they are actually starting to mark everything that's vegan, so that's nice. And then I just brought my own canvas bag instead of using their plastic or paper bags. And uh, now we're just chilling, so this is going to be the last thing that we eat today. I still have a little bit of my drink here. Yeah, she's not insane at all. No, 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 that's fine. This is okay. Yes. Good night. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope that you liked it. If you have any ideas for recipes that I should make, or if you have any ideas for videos that you really want to see from me, comment down below and let me know because I'm always open to your suggestions. Thank you so much for watching and take really good care of yourselves. Until next time. Bye. Thank you so much for watching this video and also a special thank you to my Patreon supporters. You guys help me create green zero waste contents and I love you guys. You can find the links to my social media accounts down below and the link to my Patreon on this screen. Bye.